Buenos días. Buenos días. Teddy in the back. Road <laughs> no trip. Yep. And then we'll side. I'll just let you go. Is that the phrase, yeah, man? Yeah, man. More videos to come. <laughs> we are checking in our bags. I sent us those. Okay. Um, yeah, we're ready. Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Trying to be healthier. I'm just kidding. No, we're not trying to be healthy. I'm over here with the big breakfast. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, it has to be a for you guys. Yeah. 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 Pero sí, ya estamos listos para despegar y honestamente es muy divertido hoy no. Es just super tired. Mis soquitos están super cansados and I just want to go to sleep. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Knock out and hopefully follow me for the ride. So this is what they brought me for lunch. Chicken salad, nada más que el pollo está frío y me da cosa comerlo así. Y luego le pusieron queso en mi salad. So the only thing I can eat is that. Pero lo bueno es que I brought some cereal with me. So I got my little vasito with my milk. So I think I'm just gonna have cereal while my babe is gonna enjoy some mac and cheese. I do whether it has mac and cheese as well. I was gonna film him, but I was like, I'm not gonna be mean to him. As always. Uh, but si ya llegamos, llegamos actually antes del tiempo, verdad? Sí. So that's good. At least we'll have a little bit more time para descansar, comer todo, verdad? Uh, I don't think I want to do a lot today because right now I feel so tired. No pude dormir aquí. Es muy como like I just want a bed, a real bed. Y buena comida. Oh my gosh. No, the food was bad. I ended up just having cereal. Um, and then I need to press put my press on because my nose looks so ugly. Yeah, so. A ver qué cómo nos bajamos y llegamos al hotel a ver qué hacemos. Yeah, we're here. Me and the baby OJ. Me and baby OJ. Me the same. Down. Pack of MMs, give that shit to me. Stay away. Like, I'm okay. Fuck yeah. Come on, test it. No. Sorry, wait. Hey. So, can you just have MMs? I'm excited, boo. Emotional. I swear, whoever told me to bring just a light jacket played me. It is so cold, huh? And I said, sure. I'm not sure. It's not. I'm not sure. 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 Yep, it says fine chocolate since 1920. Alright, give me one. <laughs> <laughs>
to Macharampel. Oh my god, they're not chocolates! They're strawberry chocolates, babe! Yeah. You need more light up in this bitch. Wait, how do I. Oh. <gasps> you have know, it? Babe? <gasps> ya bailó, madre. La dieta. Como dijo él, la dieta ya bailó. I'm in no diet, so. I could care less. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Ah. Eat chick, wait. No, nah, thank you. What up, guys? So, I put some poquito de concealer, a little bit of brows, and mascara so I don't look that dead. We came to take Eddie to Portillo's, Portillo's, como lo quieran decir. And, yeah, we're excited! My baby got a una cerveza. <laughs> and Eddie's about to try Portillo's. Let us know what you think, okay? Try to eat your hamburger. I have to say I'm a burger enthusiast. <laughs> Like I let you get my burgers plain sometimes just so I can see like if the quality of the beef is like, good. Vlog this Eddie. First bite. Moment of truth. What up for the Eddie? What up guys? Me acabo de bañar no hace mucho, me seque el pelo. And I love how the slick shot always leaves my hair super like soft and straight. Makes it so much easier. Uh cuando me lo tengo que esterilizar. Well, I just need to like strain it a little bit. Not even a lot, honestly. But um sorry I haven't been vlogging the last couple hours. I wasn't feeling too well, que digamos. After we left um Portillo's Portillos Bulga decir. Este I was feeling really really nauseous and I tried eating ramen. Hey that went sideways, huh? For me. Mm, yeah. It wasn't the best. Que digamos. My best ramen. Eddie was like, if you weren't nauseous, ya mejor te los hubieras comiendo. Probably, but honestly, I was not feeling well. And then, lo que pasa también when I'm nauseous and I don't want nobody like near me or touching me, like. Me mandó a la otra mesa. <laughs> no es cierto. Um, he was sitting next to me and I'm like, can you sit across from me? Like, uh, and yeah, I'm about to go to sleep because tomorrow. It's my meetup. Where does it look so what is? Como están? I can see I just woke up like, not too long ago. But came to Wildberry Pancakes Pancakes and Cafe. And we just got our food. So I ended up ordering uh, an avocado toast. There it is. Look how yummy this looks. And then my baby got Chocolate pancakes from Chile, and Eddie got eggs, bacon, and uh, pancakes. But these are Oreo, dude. Oreo, it's more. Well, it'll be a moment of truth for Eddie to know if this is worth it or not. <laughs> By the way, guys, my egg is not no está crudo, está bien cocinado. Because I know sometimes post eggs can be like really runny, but I made sure that it's not. And I'm eating egg no más porque I need protein in my diet and so this is how I'm gonna do it. Like I'm gonna try to eat the egg with avocado and hopefully because it's a little like not spicy but it has the red peppers, I can be able to eat it because that's how I mostly eat all my food, huh babe? It's always spicy, huh? <laughs> Oreo and s'mores pancakes. I haven't had pancakes this sweet in like the longest time, so I usually a lot. bomb? 
Oh, wow, you made it. You made it all down. You made it so flat. I'm starting to get butterflies. But these are kind of weird butterflies. Look, it's a little bit. It makes it the baby. A little bit, it's also nervous. I don't know if they know when I'm nervous. I think so. It's also hungry. It's really hungry. You guys need to go to McDonald's ASAP. Okay. Entramos si voy. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm nervous. It just. Whoa. <laughs> it's like 20 degrees out here, guys. Super cold. Super cold. Super cold. <laughs> Can I take a So how do you feel, yes? <sighs> Tired but so happy. And I can't and wait to open all, all these gifts. Yeah, you know we gotta go. We gotta take the Doritos <laughs> and the Cheetos <laughs> and the hot Cheetos <laughs> and the other Cheetos. <laughs> oh my God. que yo yo no o no está peor ¿Qué es güey Cancel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Damn, must be fucking nice. Buenos dias! Como están mis amores? Today is Sunday, which now makes me officially nine weeks pregnant. And this is what my belly looks like. See how it's kind of like flat? But it gives it a little curve now, but it's mostly flat. Pero voy a, después cuando voy a comer y todo, voy a ver que se me va a poner bien grande. <laughs> but here's what my belly is looking like. I have the high-waisted leggings that um, they gifted me from Jo, jo Monet. <laughs> Hopefully I said that right. Um, and yeah, so here is my nine-week belly progress. Mm -hmm. My baby having cereal. But it's me, chiquito, you know what? I'm over here having cocoa puffs. Yay! Dude, chiquito, como siempre, como no puedo, no puedo Even if it's not always the best, but the people here are the best. <laughs> ¿Cuál es tu baile? Te lo venimos a comer. Thanks to you, Thanks to you. Thanks to my little baby. No, I didn't even want this. I wanted just a wheat toast. But Eddie over here. Yeah, Eddie. wanted just a wheat toast, but yeah, you ordered like. Eddie pretends like he's pregnant with like, what? ¿Cuántos años, güey? Baby. 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 What? Another way. I'm very happy. And I love it. So we're going to have orange, café. And donuts. Damn, your mother is going to fly a pinche churro, this guy. It's going to be so bad. These are donuts. No man. Parece que fui al baño, güey. Mira. What? You're gross. Mook, mook, bang. So Eddie, how did you like? Chicago. How do you like Chicago? Yeah. It was fucking cold. <laughs> <laughs> it <was> fucking cold. <laughs> that, my friend, is very cool. But no mommy with that shorts. I know. What? You were wearing shorts. Fucking uno que sombre. Okay. You know, I'm so glad I'm able to eat. Te la pagas comiendo. Me morí. Her eyes are all watery now. It's okay, I'll finish your pancake for you. What the fuck? Don't stop there. I'm gonna put a bump on him again. Oh my god! So cool. ¿Cómo te fue? Bien. ¿Te gustó? Yes. ¿A lo que querías? Estoy siempre chicado como que hace de más. Hace demasiado frío.
was like, I can't. He started farting. <laughs> His feet just like slid down. Tú y Betty lo estaban agarrando, entonces ¿qué pasó? No, nomás se resbaló él. No, este es my dad just slid down. Va a empezar mi rodilla, my leg. Es que tus pies no agarraron. Pues yo como todavía no lo Watch him in 3, 2, 1, start going to my leg. ¿Sí estás bien? No, en serio. ¿Sí estás bien? Sí, pues nomás se resbaló. Va, pues. Te acuerdas que se columpió como si hubiera sido un niño. Estabas jugando, güey. Mmm, pues. Vámonos, Coco. We're gonna go eat. ¿Qué pasó, pinche coco cabrón? Mis guachitos hermosos, ¿qué pasó? What up, guys? Um, we're gonna go on our way to go eat. The whole fam. Alfredo's not here, though. I had to show you guys Coco. He's so funny. Look at him. Look at him back. <laughs> um, but what, I, didn't, I didn't get home, like, just right now. It's been, like, what? I would say an hour? An hour and a half? Un poquito más. Un poquito más, así. Uh, and the first thing I did was show my parents the gifts that I got um, at the Chicago meetup and my mom was all excited. My dad, <laughs> he was like, oh my God. They were all so excited about the gifts. Okay, but they're going to talk first. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Yes. Okay. 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 Si te imaginas que tus narices, si tú no quieres que de pares por ser más, para el 20 tienes que tener listo, para el 20. Y ahí se va a ver si de veras eres cabrón y pagas por ser más, y si no, te capo. Yo, Deo, a ver. Si te tomo de una forma, yo también chingas. ¿Tú qué me vas a hacer? ¿Cómo ganar? A ver, a ver, a ver. Ya me amarro el trato. Una noche de pasión. Amarro el trato. Yo esa noche de pasión acá, mi ¿Qué estás diciendo? No quiso amarrar el trato, ¿ya vieron? Que se me hace que, que eres pura pinche gallina rodaila. Alright, guys, the living room is now officially almost coming to an end. They started playing the baseboard. This is bullshit. We just got back from our flight from Chicago. <laughs> it's I, was to take, I was supposed to take a nap and go to the gym, <laughs> film a video for you guys. But instead, we're fucking here doing this Putting shit. Putting in work. So. Yay. Then, after that, we're gonna work on this section. I me acabo de bañar. Hence why I have my head towel. It's so good to just shower. Yeah, be refreshed and everything. But I wanted to talk to you guys because. Obviously, I want to document everything about my pregnancy, of course, and then um, I also just want to share with you guys because I know there's some that are pregnant with me, which is so amazing, but uh, just kind of like, you know, share how I basically feel and also just in general, like the things that I am like learning along the way. So, I kind of basically... You know, started thinking, like, am I really... Is it, like, really just in my head the whole thing about, like, 
having it be already you know uncomfortable to have sex and like is it also like really weird that like you know i'm already starting with a little bit of back pain or something um like you know all these things i'm like is it really just in my head uh but it turns out that nope i was right like i i just know i need to always just trust my own gut and just know that i already know my body obviously i'm the one feeling it so like obviously like why would i be exaggerating or making things up in my head even though i am so fucking excited about you know just in general being pregnant but um turns out that only 20 percent of the women are gonna understand what i'm going through or at least even talking about even like maybe not even that 20 percent of the women but if you guys are part of that 20 percent where you guys have your uterus tilted then you guys are going to understand where i'm coming from but if you guys don't then yeah absolutely you guys will be like oh my god you're so dumb like just wait until you're more farther along da -da 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 -da. like it's gonna get worse and this and that and it's not like i'm actually complaining i'm just you know and in my videos as i go i'm just letting you guys know what it's like to be in my shoes throughout the day you know like you know so i'm not complaining whatsoever but i'm just letting you guys know so when i mentioned that like um what are precisions that are more comfortable and this and that it turns out it has to do because of my tilted uterus um it's not all 100 percent entirely up to or like the pregnancy or anything it, but it does have a role in it so when obviously you are pregnant you get a little bit more sensitive down there at least some women you know some women do get a little bit more sensitive especially because obviously down there is trying its best to keep all the way infections anything just so it can protect the baby you know so everything down there is a little bit more sensitive so when you have a tilted uterus obviously it's not the most comfortable thing in some positions um, just in general before being pregnant like there's just some positions that it might hurt or feel it wouldn't it, I wouldn't say the word hurt but it just feels uncomfortable so now that I'm pregnant um, now I definitely feel that discomfort you know and so I was kind of being scared to try new positions just because I was like you know I didn't know this had to do be this, I didn't know this was due to my tilted uterus or anything so I just wanted to be boring just stay one position because i was like i don't i'm scared to try anything else which is why i asked you guys like you know what are the safe positions <laughs> um but it turns out it, it's because of my tilted uterus that it makes right now my back hurt a little bit and then also just sexy time be a little bit uncomfortable with certain precisions just because it's a little bit more sensitive um with that being said the good news is that they say that around week 10 to 12, like in between there, my tilted uterus is supposed to tilt back into a normal position because of the baby. The baby basically will tilt it to be where it's at. If it doesn't happen, it's still not a huge issue, I guess, but um, my doctor was saying that like it's not going to be a big deal. Like it's It'll be fine. Um, there's some women that have given birth to uh baby with a tilted uterus and everything was fine um sometimes they might be complications where you cannot naturally give birth but a c-section is possible so that's another thing um but i'm not too worried i'm not like i wouldn't say i'm not worried because there is a still a slight chance that i'm having that risk of miscarrying because of the tilted uterus um, if you guys didn't know, there is still like that very small percentage. It's like I think two or three percent. It's not too drastic, but I mean I can't, I can't do nothing about that, you know. And I'm not gonna say I don't worry because it has obviously I think every pregnant woman has crossed our minds where we think about it, like what if we miscarry or something happens with the baby, you know? Like obviously it's natural to just worry, but don't please please don't tell me not to worry because. I think it wouldn't be human of me if not to worry at all like or have that like at least thought cross my mind but i'm a hundred percent fine like i'm not worried about it i i think you guys would already know this by now because obviously the reason why i've shared with you guys so early on in my journey with this um i'm not worried because 
my mentality the way that i think is i just like to put this worry in god's hands i know that he has just blessed me right now and i i take everything as a blessing and i'm just now right now super grateful that i'm pregnant and that there's a baby inside of me and it has its heart beating and that's all i'm grateful for today and my worries i just always put them on god and i i'm the type of person that believes that prayer is the strongest thing in the world and it can make miracles and make make everything possible so i'm just i just wake up every single day and i thank god for just being pregnant for another day and i just will continue like this until i give birth and hopefully everything goes good you know so that's just basically my mentality i hope it can help some of you guys if you guys have worries about anything that just put everything into god's hands and just believe in the prayer like it is so strong and god is you know so beautiful like he will t seriously wrap you in his arms and just make everything possible just trust and believe in him and that's exactly what i'm doing and yeah but i just want to share that with you guys because i just literally found out today <laughs> um so yeah now I'm, and now i feel a lot better knowing this because i was really starting to think like Hmm. Like, am I really exaggerating? Is this really in my all in my head? But turns out, no. <laughs> so that's that. Hopefully, because I am now in week nine. Hopefully, in like next week or in a couple more weeks, this discomfort can go away and my uterus can go back into being a normal position. <laughs> One more thing I also forgot to mention is that, um, you know how throughout the weeks obviously your uterus continues to grow obviously it's, it's stretching out your ligaments and all that stuff um so that is also why i've had some discomfort at night sleeping um because of my back and i always i was always thinking like you know it's so weird that i can't sleep like i keep waking up in the middle of the night but like it was it's because of that like and so what I have found to help me, just in case any of you guys are going through the same thing very early on, is that I just put a pillow, one of my, my own normal pillows, in between my legs. Thankfully, we're so lucky that this bed is adjustable and we can like position it however we want. So I rise up a little bit of the end of the bed, a little bit more higher than the top because obviously I put already a pillow and i'm kind of like in this position like that like like a little wave you know so just my bottom and my belly are like in a lower position like my legs are a little bit higher my head is a little bit like higher and then i just turn to the side and i sleep with the pillow it's in between my legs and that does it <laughs> that's how it's helped me sleep throughout the whole entire night now i don't really wake up unless i obviously have to pee um but that's pretty much it like that's how i managed to find the way to sleep at night so that way i'm not like you know being comfortable and my back hurting or anything like that so that's what i found that helped me um just in case you guys are going through that uh obviously not i know not everybody's bed is adjustable but um i do know that a lot of the people especially um, if you're way more farther along your pregnancy, they get pregnancy pillows and those help tremendously, which I do plan on finding one. So if you guys do know of any good pregnancy pillow, please let me know. I think that would be a lot more, that would make it a lot more easier for me, just in general for me and my back. So let me know. <laughs> eh? Cereal? Oh my God. That sounds bomb right now. Dude, I tried Lucky Charms. Um... <laughs> And oh my god, what dude? No, I didn't want them because they were like they have a lot of sugar and stuff. But, um, I I would always like when I was eating so healthy, you know, obviously your taste buds kind of change. So, I remember the last time I ate very sweet cereal, I was like, oh, this is too much, like blah blah blah. So, when I saw my brother Eddie order the Lucky Charms um, last night. I was like, oh yeah, no, I definitely don't want Lucky Charms. They're probably going to be too sweet for me or whatever. <laughs> Tell me why they taste so bomb right now. Like, they taste so freaking good. And then I also tried Cocoa Puffs and I was like, oh my god, this is all so amazing. Um, but yeah, wow. It's so crazy. 
Crazy how my taste buds have changed. Ya me seque mi pelo. Ahí sí, que ahora sí. Voluminous and straight. But anyways, ya les vamos a decir buenas noches, así que buenas noches, amores. Buenas noches. We love you guys and once again, thank you to each and every one of you that made it to our Chicago meetup. It means everything and all for all the beautiful gifts. Huh? It literally felt like a baby shower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much. We're truly grateful for this experience. We're going to cherish this memory for the rest of our lives because obviously it was also our little OJ's first trip on the plane. <laughs> first trip, first event. Yeah, first trip, first event, everything. So thank you everyone for making it an unforgettable experience. Everything, everything was amazing, honestly. But when I say this, when I say this, we love you guys, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Mwah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.